Module 24 brings many opportunities to make some extra astral diamonds outside of your daily 100,000 that you'll refine from just doing random cues. So let's go through everything that you can farm and obtain that will be tradable with other players so you can make some decent profit off it. Before we get started, a special thank you to all of these channel members for their added support. So the first thing you want to do before Module 24 comes about is spend your seals of the wild. You will see in module 24, of which we are on the previous server, you can see the seals vendor will just have dragon seal gear and north seal gear. The seals of the wild gear are gone. You will be able to exchange them for some astral diamonds and not much at that. So what you need to do is spend those seals now as you can buy gear with that that you can actually sell on the auction house. Now it's not as big a deal as I initially thought since with your seals of the north, you will now be able to spend that to obtain your old seals of the wild gear. Not all of it, like the weathered stuff. If you want that fashion, make sure you buy that. But this stuff will still be sellable and you'll still be able to buy it just with the next seals, which is seals of the north, which are getting demoted from like the premium seals or the elite seals so that you can get these seals very easily from your lesser random queues, your skirmish queue, your dungeon queue, your advanced and trial will have the new seals of the dragon for that corresponding dragon seal gear. But you may as well spend those seals of the wild before you end up having to only be able to get these options with it. And just keep in mind, you can still buy and sell all of the Seals of the North gear. So you should still be able to make some Astral Diamonds there, just off new players who want to boost their item level quickly. So let's jump to the new things that you can obtain with Module 24. Again, launching November the 8th, just next week, Tuesday. And you'll be able to gain access to this entire new zone with it a new campaign, North Dark Reaches. And right here, we're going to have a store where you can purchase items with the campaign currency. You're going to obtain these coins just from doing quests and heroic encounters. The other currency just from doing quests, these mushrooms, these fungi from killing mini bosses and these gems from completing your Temple of the Spider, I believe only the master version. Now with these currencies, you can buy things in the store. Now on the first tab here, you can see none of it is tradable with other players. Of course, buying rough astral diamonds is, but that's such a little amount for the amount of currency. But you might want to take advantage of the free companion upgrade tokens every week. But going to the consumable section here, we can buy some new best in slot overloads for those people farming the new dungeon. These will sell for sure. These drow slayers are going to be what DPS want and then they may very well also want drow wards and they've changed these wards over to spider wards instead of what they were as myconid wards meaning they will also help in the new dungeon because there's many spiders during the aoe fights so they may be very well used there as well so you can go and buy these and you can sell them as you can see when you purchase one they do not get bound until you go and equip it. So you can go and you can very readily post them on the auction house and make some astral diamonds off them. Some people might want some wards, but I think they will be on the less lower demand side and tanks might even want the Underdark Lurker Awards, especially when we get, let's say, the reworked Demogorgon coming back. These could be useful to survive any, let's say, one-shot mechanics that would like critically hit you and having 10% extra critical avoidance could help a lot with that. Now, the next thing you'll be able to do to get some Astral Diamonds is farm heroic encounters within this new zone. There's a lot of them. You do not want to farm the little ones. You want to farm the big ones. The little ones literally drop you nothing but these coins, seals of the north, and refinement points. That is it. However, on a side note, with it dropping seals of the north, you could farm the little ones. And with those seals of the north, you can still go and spend those on 
Seals of the North gear, like these weapons and this armor, and sell them on the auction house. The big heroic encounters, the major ones, again, you see them on the map as kind of a much more grander outline there of their icons. There's another one up here, and there's also one that spawns up here, but somebody already finished it. So keep an eye on that, and again, you can hop between different instances to take advantage of that using the zone chat to ask to be invited to a group or have a look at what instance there is heroic counters active. And those big heroic encounters will drop you different sorts of gear like these rings. Now, best of all from these heroic encounters, you can get the new set. You can see here it's the Assassin's Die Set. That's just what I'm going to call it, but it gives you uncanny luck. The artifact only binds on equip. You can sell it then. Comes from those heroic encounters, the big ones. And same with the neck and waist, all being able to be sold to other players. Not that I'm saying the set is any good. Some people might get it because the high item level and otherwise just the stats it's giving is kind of a reliable boost, especially for newer players who just want to slowly build up their character, depending on what price it will be listed at you will definitely be able to make some Astro Diamonds. And as for the artifact, it's going to be one of a pretty good debuff artifacts. I'm going to do the math on these two of them and we'll see how good it is compared to existing artifacts. But it will definitely be used and it being able to be sold will mean, again, you can make profit off it. Now, the next thing, as you've seen already, that you can get from those heroic encounters are those rings. Now, not saying they're any good, but they're all purple. And you can see most of them have the same bonus there. You can see when you're struck by a foe, you have a 10% chance to summon a mic on it to attack the foe, dealing 200 magnitude damage. Can't trigger again for another 30 seconds. So pretty much a useless bonus there. But they're unbound. You'll be able to sell the rings. I've personally got two of the rings. And the second set of rings has a bonus which gives you increased movement speed, which only works in the North Stack, only in this zone. So maybe if you're doing a heavy amount of questing and need the move speed, you could slot in one or two of these rings. And you can see again, all they have differing here is the stats, but otherwise they give you 5% movement speed. And you can see, we have two of them right there. Unbound, I'm going to be able to, yes, indeed, sell them on the auction house for whatever price I want. As you can see, we've listed it. Otherwise, we can go and equip them. Check my movement speed. We see it's at 33%. Let's say we equip this ring. We are binding it. And we can see our movement speed's gone at 38%. So yes, they will work and they'll give you more movement speed. Let's check, do two of the rings work? Do they stack? Do I gain more movement speed than 38? I do, excellent. So if you want 10% more movement speed, there you go. But unfortunately, should only work in the North Dark Reaches zone, this place. And lastly, from those heroic encounters, you're also getting shirts and pants. Again, the bonuses on these are not too great, but they have some all right item level. You can see basically the shirts here. Whenever you damage or heal an enemy, you gain for more than 15% of your max HP, you gain 1% action points. Useful for people who, who want to get their daily powers more often. And then the pants, of which we got one of them, whenever you're damaged for more than 15% of your max HP, you gain 5% defense. Pretty useful, in fact, and probably pretty useful for a tank, depending on how often they can proc. Will depend on what boss you're fighting. But again, we got one of those shirts and it is unbound, removing the protection there. And we can again go and list that on the auction house as it is sellable. So somebody can go and buy that. Now, while within this zone, you're going to have mini bosses which you can kill. Let's just find one real quick. And we have this guy. I've made a map and you can go back on my videos, search it and find that module 24 mini boss map. And these guys will drop you currency. That's generally the most important thing. But on a low chance, they can drop you some fashion. And that's listed in your collections just here. I've personally got the armor and the headpiece. It doesn't look too great. You can preview it just here and you can see what it's looking like there. It's either it's bugged or it's intended to not show, let's say, yeah, any of my body. I'm still invisible while previewing it. 
potentially it'll work when I actually equip it. Let's actually do that. Why not convert it to appearance library? But keep in mind again, these things are tradable. I'm able to go and post them on the auction house. So depending how lucky you are, you can make some astral diamonds of that as well. Going to my appearance tab here, we can go and equip this fashion, save it, and it didn't seem to change anything at all. It's like it's invisible fashion. All right, still pretty bugged. I'm literally not wearing a top there anymore. Interesting. We convert the headpiece as well, and going equipping that does actually make it so that we can see all that. So it was just the tattoos, and yeah, our body is not shown. So if you want to look like a weird animated armor, go for it. Now with the North Dark Creatures campaign, you're going to have a quest line which you can go and run through. And completing the quest line will get your hands on the new weapons. I haven't done much on this character, but I've completed it on my other characters. And we can see we've obtained these purple weapons and they are also tradable. They're sellable. We can post them again on the auction house just here for whatever price you want. Now, not saying that these weapons are like really good or anything, but just having the ability to post them on the auction house with having a lot of high item level, people are going to most likely buy these again when they're starting out in the game and need something to boost their character's item level. Depending on the price, they could definitely be affordable to some newer players. The bonus again isn't too great and that's not really why I would get them, but it does have the additional base damage which will help a lot when you're scaled down and that is the majority of content. So just keep that in mind. Now, when you continue that quest train further down the line, you can actually get your hands on these legendary weapons. They're the same kind of bonus, just a little bit different. We can claim our rewards there and they go in your inventory and we can see again, they are unbound. You can sell them. We can post them again on the auction house for however much we want. And those legendary weapons, I'm telling you, are definitely going to sell. They're going to be one of the best weapon sets in the game. You do have to get a lot of progress done in the campaign, up to 800 points in order to get them. But the grind can be well worth it, especially for the amount of Astro Diamonds that they're going to give you in return. So you might want to go farm those weapons on, let's say, alts that you might not even intend to use them on. And that way you can sell them. And initially, they're probably going to sell for a lot. And over time, the price might go down. But still, it's a lengthy period to obtain them. The next parts are mainly things we can get from the new rework Temple of the Spider, the master version. Again, as you may have seen, we have a new artifact set that exclusively drops from the new dungeon. You can see it's got the neck and waist and the artifact. The artifact, again, being pretty good for debuffing your enemies, making it so that they take increased amount of damage. We can see both those ar new artifacts just here on their mythic. You can see their stats and like this one giving power and accuracy is also very good for DPS, just pure offensive stats. And the rod here, crit severity and combat advantage, also very good for DPS with just pure offensive stats. That's pretty rare especially for people moving away from the storybooks you can see like the dragonbone wand has got defense and hp there the tiamat's one's got hp and awareness and not that defense is a stats are bad but just having more offensive stats meaning you're dealing more damage which means those two artifacts are hella appealing just as secondaries instead of running the storybooks and over time the storybooks might get better when we have more item level but tip for tap the storybooks are pretty expensive and limited time available and personally they're only really good in scaled content outside of that you're better off just making your bigger hits bigger by increasing your item level but again that rod and it's set to go with it are only going to be coming from that 
Master or Temple of the Spider. I've ran it like maybe 10 times by now, opened one chest for each run since I didn't have a key and didn't get any of the pieces. However, my teammates did. So I have two of the pieces sitting just there. We have them right here in our shared bank. They are again fully unbound and we can go post them on the auction house for as much as we want. They'll probably sell for a decent amount. The set itself is not great, but can be useful for a tank just for the pure stats and again the item level so people probably will buy it and sadly that's about it for the new dungeon just a new artifact set to sell you do of course get other rewards like your mythic rings but they are bound to account on pickup same with the fashion and the vanity pets you get we did get one of the vanity pets and you can see its visual there it's like that little drider and it's just a vanity pet. It's just going to follow you around. That's all about it. It glows a little bit green. So that concludes everything of which you can make Astro Diamonds with the new module. Again, make sure to spend those Seals of the Wilds, most importantly, on that helmet, which gives accuracy. You can get multiple ones from different classes. Probably the wizard is probably going to sell a lot. And otherwise, we have new overloads with the next module. We have the new artifact sets, both sellable. The epic rings here these shirt and pants from heroic encounters and then just some fashion and most importantly you'll be able to sell the new weapons these purple ones and the legendary ones unfortunately you won't be able to sell any of the like legendary gear i know it says buy an equipped character but if you're to actually go and buy it from the store which the only place you can obtain it you can see it binds on pickup to that character you buy it on and personally all this gear is pretty useless bar the boots and the new seals gear that's also going to be bound to pick up on character unfortunately some of it there being bound pick up on account you can see the shirt and pants but the seals of the north again you'll be able to spend to buy like these weapons this gear and you'll be able to list and post that on the auction house and sell it to newer players who just want that item level boost so hopefully this is somewhat insightful to you guys and helpful moving forward with module 24. Just so you're a little bit prepared and you can make some quick astral diamonds at the beginning. Prices will generally be sky high and then over time as more people know about it and get the rewards and go to sell, the prices will slowly go down. Again, another special thanks to all of these channel members for helping me keep my channel going. And if I presented this well, consider leaving a video like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.